Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily general tarot reading June 19th, 2018. So we do have a four card spread here and the first card will mark the topic of that day. The second card shows up um, the negative approach toward the topic or in other words uh, the negative things we could do during that day or the things we could do that is going to bring us negativity then we do have the third card which points up the positive approach which means that whatever we do according to that card is going to give us positivity and last card shows up at the um, the long-term prospect in case we do keep these couple of conditions in check so the first card which is marking up the topic this is the high priestess so it is likely that through that day as the high priestess is a uh, representative of the inner voice inner wisdom and inner guidance it does mean that some of us and maybe the majority of us are going to receive a uh, huge insight that will come from within what i mean here is that every single one of us are um kind of know the um, the arguments behind that insight and the um, the evidence behind it but not every single one of us has grown enough in order to uh, those event those um, proofs and those kind of like evidence to immerse beneath the surface from his subconscious which means that uh, some of us are going to have that insight at June 19th some of us are going to start sensing the insight but nonetheless the high priestess it is a card saying that going general is that uh, the day is going to be rather very calm and uh, uh, you know uh, very routine as well that being said the high priestess advises you to just attend to your duties all right and um, do whatever you can in order to uh, to pass through that particular day and generally if I have to be uh, if I have to be exact that is going to be a very boring day all right in, in which day we can deliberate upon uh, the vagueness of our situations in those kind of uh, fields or those kind of uh, areas of our life which we are feeling insecure and uh, you know, we are feeling vagueness in it. So we can uh, obtain a, a greater understanding and being able to comprehend upon the, upon the situation and kind of reach the root of the matter there. Nonetheless, the High Priestess says that during that day, uh, our intuition, so-called intuition, is going to be uh, rather exaggerated and it will benefit all of us to follow that particular intuition. So what we should not do during that particular day, that will be the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is that we have to be narrow-minded, okay? okay? This is what we should not do and to uh, adopt the uh, the standpoint that the life is going to be boring all all along until you know we pass away until our time goes so just because that particular day um it is in a such state that uh, things cannot be pushed through or in other words there will be not much of a de development into our things this doesn't mean that the development ain't gonna come tomorrow guys uh <clears throat> That being said, the Eight of Swords here, even though a day of uh, inactivity advises us to not be uh, tunnel visioning uh, that single direction we do have from that particular day, but rather uh, urges us to use the time of uh, routine, you know, and knowing what is going on around us, in other words, you know, not having anything to surprise us during that day, so that means that we are going to be able to also plan the day, all right, very well, and by planning the day, we will have some time for ourselves, or we will plan some, some personal time for ourselves, during that particular personal time, we should aim to uh, look outside of the box or in other words, how we can sprue our daily environment, what we are missing and how we can get that particular thing. Because the appearance of the Eight of Swords says that our day is boring because we made it that way. And as we made it that way, we can also unmade, uh, unmake it or undo it and we can make it rather more uh, exciting and uh, you know more versatile as well 
Then the next car points of what we should aim to do during that particular day. This is the lover's card. So the lover's card in general, apart from you know love and relationship, it does speaks for harmony and also seeking a resolution to an old issue. So we can use that particular day of inactivity upon the new things, you know, um, that we are trying to establish. So instead of trying to establish establish new things, we should aim to resolve uh, uh, in issues that are lingering from the past and probably it is because we do have those issues probably unsettled arguments with our uh, beloved ones or unsettled arguments as well into our job and career um, or rather like unnegotiated terms on a particular project etc etc which is exactly what is holding us down not to be able to push our things through and the high priest is here uh, is telling us that there is you know and in conjunction with the eight of swords is that there is a, a way out of that kind of a, a situation of a dead end if I may say that way but we as I said need to see it outside of the box so also for some of us we will be related as well to a certain compromise we have to make in order to reach harmony with the people we are depending on so they can give us a green light to push our project forward or to be in a relationship with them in case we are aiming to be in a relationship. Nonetheless, the, um, the lover's card does advises us for today, June 19, to aim to reach harmony with everybody who tries to engage us. <clears throat> and uh, next card, it, the fourth card, will be the long-term prospect in case uh, we do keep these couple of conditions checked. And the Ace of Swords is very positive card as a follow-up here of these couple. It is because uh, if you are following me, I'm saying that that day is going to be in a dead end situation, and that this is not going to um, uh, last very long because of the Ace of Swords. In that particular case, as soon as we reach harmony, the Ace of Swords points to the. Um, poignance of the situation uh, will make us do some let's say radical and very brave actions in order to um, improve our circumstances it's kind of like the last drop in the chalice here and then the chalice uh, the chalice is kind of over flooded and we just can't take it anymore and that being said uh, whether we like it or not we will have to do something that it uh, that it is outside of the box we're thinking so uh, this day is going to be very important for those who are not seeing other options available. All right, that day actually is going to give them a, a hint that they do have those options available and that they can act upon them. But before that, they need to make the prerequisites uh, in order for those options available to become um, available if I may say that way, or those options that can be available to become available as soon as possible. Because the prerequisites are important, the foundations are important, and those prerequisites depend on people that are interacting with us. So it is not in, into our hands, but we can make it, all right? It is just we have to be able to reach a certain compromise with uh, those that we depend on, because everybody depends on someone else. So with that being said, guys, this was your Daily Tower reading for June 19, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.